name is Armin Pishtachian, and I work in the Watson Digital Business Group. And my role is that of an academic tech mentor. My educational and professional journey, it's, it's fascinating how it has all merged together so well, and only now that it makes perfect sense. Uh, my bachelor's uh, was in uh, industrial organizational behavior psychology. Uh, from there on, I, I went on and I got a master's in computer science and an MBA in computer information systems. My professional journey actually has been quite diverse. Um, I started off as a staff accountant, and it happened to be in software companies. And I had noticed that there were technical writers, and that that's something that I had been gravitated to because I had a talent in writing and it was hidden behind the numbers. Uh, I noticed that these tech writers, they're sitting behind the largest machines with the great screens. They, they had their own hours. Uh, they would come in and go as, as they wished. And to me, that sounded like the perfect thing to move on to. Uh, I ended up having quite, quite a, a great time with it. And even today, that is coming in handy as I develop my courses as an academic tech mentor. I decided to take on an academic membership role really through an accidental coincidence of events that took place. I had been working in IBM uh, development um, and um, I had an opportunity uh, during the, uh, this past few years to run enablement for internals. Um, it was through one of those, one of my students that pointed me out to a professor that was teaching at the University of Singapore, Jorge Sanz, Professor Jorge Sanz, and he asked that if this particular student knew anybody that would be able to uh, come in and teach about Watson to students. And once I tried that, uh, he invited me to uh, University of Singapore. Uh, and from there on, I absolutely fell in love with, with the world of academia, with the professors, with the students. And I went back to my management and I said, this is what I want to do. We need to create a role for this position. What I love about my job is that it really merges two important things in my mind. The notion of know-how and the notion of talent. I think that if you can use talent in what you do on a daily basis, uh, it's a blessing. It's a blessing really, not even in disguise. Uh, when, I'm at, uh, when I'm not traveling, when I'm not engaged at, uh, with teaching uh, activities, I am learning. Uh, learning is a joy, uh, just like rock climbing, motorcycles, sailing is, is a joy. Learning itself is a joy. And as I learn these new services and APIs, and then I take an opportunity to translate those into workshops and lectures. And then the talent kicks in to be able to stand in front of an audience and inspire them to really put the love of this science, this technology in their hearts and minds. Some of the challenges that I'm trying to solve in my job is to have a better opportunity, a greater grasp being able to follow through with a lot of these academics and universities globally that we are engaged with, uh, to see how they have progressed. Uh, did they make any apps? Are they thinking of an entrepreneurship? Um, and I am hoping uh, uh, in, in the forthcoming months we will have this opportunity to really follow up on the good work, on the seeds that we plant, if you would, and, and see how they have grown. My message to students who are interested in creating a career in AI is that embrace it to begin with. And if you are now in school studying mathematics, let me tell you that is going to come in handy. Calculus too, bear that in mind. Uh, statistics, always. Uh, if you talk to a statistician, they would say they can explain the world with statistics. Frankly, if you talk to an economist, they would say they can explain the world with economics. But the joy, the notion of not just uh, the confines of AI, but to learn, to read, to publish on various online magazines and publications. Um, working with artificial intelligence is working with algorithms. Working with algorithms is being an artist. You design, you create, you build something. It is your canvas. If you like to work with canvas, instead of a brush, it is mathematics. This is an amazing career to embark on. 
LSTM, long short term memory, is, is an algorithm actually that a lot of our developers are now experimenting with. Uh, we use a, a myriad uh, of uh, machine learning mechanisms and algorithms. Uh, we certainly start with brute statistics, uh, such as uh, support vector machines and Bayesian inferences. Um, and as we then try the neural nets approach, um, such as convolutional neural nets, recurrent neural nets, and lately, LSTM, long short term memory. And I think it is this new set of algorithms, this new neural approach that is going to help us to move from a any artificial narrow intelligence into the realm of artificial general intelligence. What a fantastic, that mathematics is the language of the gods. Um, if you ask a physis physicist, he will say it takes physics to explain the universe. Um, if you ask a mathematician, he would say music is mathematics. How often I have seen those who have a keen sense of music happen to be good with mathematics. Um, yes, yes, I, I would say uh, a mindset that starts with understanding the, the constructs of math is one that is really well suited for work in artificial intelligence. You know, what brings me the most joy in my career is, frankly, the very few moments that for, I think, many is the scariest moments. It's stepping in front of those students. It is as though these, uh, I, I view them as, as my children. Uh, it, uh, I, I walk into the room with a big smile. And they have pointed that to me, actually. And then I begin to weave stories. Uh, and I think it's through these stories that uh, we both grow, uh, not only the students, but I personally as well. At the end of the uh, lecture, um, it is a natural high. Um, how to get a high? Give a lecture. <laughs> I am convinced that it does. I know that it does. I think that enthusiasm, I can see it in their faces. They're taking pictures of the slides, uh, uh, the way they're leaning forward. Uh, it's as though uh, I am guiding their emotions through a story of some despair. I can see despair faces. As I come up with a, a joke oftentimes made on the fly, uh, the roar and the laughter in the, uh, in the entire audience really wakes the whole class up. What a priceless question. How does one go about finding what it is that love? Frankly, I say finding what it is that you would love to do is far harder than doing it. So many of us take so many years into our 40s, 50s, hopefully, if at all, that we embark upon doing something that we just love. Uh, there's an old saying, let thy vocation be thy bliss. I think one way that you can embark upon that, unless from the very early age, very few of us who were blessed by knowing what it is they wanted to do, uh, is by trying out so many disciplines, by listening to so many different variety of music, uh, but by, in, by not being hung up on a certain way of, of being seeing a bit of everyone in yourself. Uh, I think these traits, these characters, this openness, the joy of being with people, uh, uh, slowly would make all these disparate, seemingly disjointed things that you have done over the years gel into something that now hearkens your enthusiasm, your talent, and all you have to do now is feed it with good old know-how of the one science that you really like. What are people's reactions when they see IBM at work? Yeah. One of the first things that I think uh, they uh, end up appreciating, maybe not at first, but soon thereafter, certainly before I, I leave the, uh, the workshop, is that bravo IBM for bringing your technology to us on day two even though it is not so baked and solid and foolproof. Uh, in a sense, you are allowing us to be developers in here. Really, the whole notion of open sourceness. Um, yes, I know my conversation service has room to grow. I understand that some of these nodes are kludgy and too big and so forth. But thank you. I am working with it. I'm using it. I am seeing the pain points. I'm suggesting them. And uh, I think once uh, by the end of the workshop, this appreciation 
that, wow, they worked with something that just is, as they say, fresh off the press. Uh, I think that's quite valuable. Oh my God, you said it. Uh, fade fast, actually, is uh, what our general manager, Bob Lord, uh, says in his uh, town hall meetings. Mm -hmm. uh, and how do we fade fast? A, by breaking down the silos. Let people uh, check one another's work and not have this mentality of hoarding and guiding or code set, but give it out. As soon as it is, unrelease one. Uh, and uh, let, let the code fail fast. And by the next week, we will have advanced that much more faster than if we were guarding it and cautious against possibly looking bad. What is my vision for the AI in the future? I think that um, uh, health concerns, medical uh, uses of Watson, perhaps would come soonest. I won't be surprised in my lifetime that I would have uh, nanobots within my bloodstream checking the salt, the sugar levels. Um, and yes, I would like to know. Frankly, I would like to know that now. Um, I also think that uh, a lot of the mundane tasks uh, driving, for example, truck driving. Um, I don't see why truck drivers need to be engaged with driving a truck, but they can still be in their truck. I'm glad you asked that. Uh, absolutely, absolutely. It was on the way to the airport. I was in the taxi, and um, a truck just swayed right away in front of our uh, lane. And it was because of another car that had driven erratically. Uh, uh, the cab driver said, um, you know, uh, my brother-in-law is actually a truck driver. And uh, truck drivers, their preference is to drive at night. So they don't have to deal with the traffic of the daytime. But they have a mandate. They must log that they have slept during the night. This is a genuine concern. Yes, it is. Uh, and it, it frustrates them. They, that is exactly antithetical to how they would like to approach their career. As, as he was driving more, I started to thinking to myself, how awesome would it be if that truck was an autonomous vessel? No, it hadn't done away with anybody's job. The truck driver was still in the, uh, in the vessel, not doing driving truck, but perhaps sleeping while the vessel is getting there at night, waking up and opening up the laptop and doing inventory uh, as he's about to unload. Uh, his merchandise, something that there's no need to be done uh, in the, at, at noon when, when it gets over there during rush hour. Uh, I think artificial intelligence would find its way in taking away the mundane, the arduous, and letting us uh, focus on what it is that is a meaningful work. Thank you for that question, truly. Uh, augmented intelligence. I generally, personally also believe in uh, Ginny Rametti's message and I do think she's doing an amazing job in steering this ocean liner, uh, because this isn't a ship that can immediately go this way or that way. It, it takes a change uh, in paradigm, in, in culture, in mindset, in the way we sell, uh, not million dollar products, but services, platforms. And augmented intelligence, I think, is really the foundation, the underlying mindset uh, that uh, we need to take on. This technology here is to help, not to supplant, not to hinder, not to take away, but to add to my capabilities as a doctor. If I am prescribing so many medication for my patients, I sure would like to consult a second opinion and find out that, geez, these exact uh, measurements of certain drugs that I'm about to prescribe had certain side effects uh, a few years back to a certain patient in England. Maybe I should go with four milligrams instead of the eight that I was going to. Uh, there's no way for me to know these publications that are coming out. Uh, law would, would have the uh, same impact also. How often do we hear of uh, accidents where uh, the person from behind is usually the one that's at fault, and the person in the front who was involved in the accident is not at fault. It's a typical. But what if the person in the front was engaged in road rage, and they slammed on the brakes a number of times, forcing this accident? Uh, perhaps Watson can be aware of such an incident that took place many years ago in a certain place. And maybe the lawyer now can quickly come across a case that would help him help his client. 
oh my goodness, uh, the notion of nanodegrees is the opportunity. No question. I won't be surprised if some years down the road, and we were having this discussion earlier, that uh, the notion of having all these masters and PhDs program would be a good fit if you want to remain in academia and be a researcher. But one who is there implementing, uh, solving solutions, being an entrepreneur, may not need such years and hundreds of thousands and so much debt. Uh, these nano degrees are focused, specific, and they are designed to solve an immediate need, current uh, challenge that organizations are actually running into. Let the organization communicate with the learning uh, educational systems and tell them, look, this is what I need to hire. This is what I need, and I don't see that in your curriculum. Uh, this collaboration that we have embarked on, IBM and Udacity, I think is priceless. Mm -hmm.